you're an interior designer working with SketchUp, one of the most useful things that you can do with it when you're making a presentation to a client is to have different furniture configurations on different layers and then create different scene tabs to quickly show the different options to your clients. So here, for example, I have option one and I'm looking mainly at this furniture setup in the living room area, option two and option three. If you've never been quite clear about how to set that all up, that's what we're gonna go through today on this video. So here's the same model setup, um, and you see I don't have um, those same scene tabs up here, so we're gonna go through the process of creating layers with different furniture settings on, and then creating the scene tabs. Right now I just have a basic floor tab, floor plan tab, and then that same client view that you saw before. And you can see I've imported stuff, so I have my first possible furniture layout here. Um, we're going to use layers to help organize our furniture or the different layers that we want to show our client. If you're working on um, a PC, if you go to the default tray, you're going to find layers there. And again, if you don't see the default tray at all, at all you can go to Window, Default Tray, and make sure Show Tray is selected and also make sure that scenes is one of the options is selected. Everything that has a little check mark, that's what you're gonna see in your tray. Um, if you are on a Mac, if you go to window scenes and window layers, that's where you're gonna find your same palettes here. So the first thing I need to do is to create a layer for this furniture layout. So I'm gonna hit this little plus sign to add a layer. Um, I often name my layers with AA, um, for one option, so I'm gonna call this AA living room. And I didn't capitalize it for any particular reason. And then to put items onto this layer, you can click on them individually. And these pillows are in a separate little group. And when they're all selected, or I think they're all selected, I'm gonna right click over one of them, go to Entity Info, and then an Entity Info box should open up. And my file just decided to save at this very moment. And then in the layer, I'm going to put that on AA Living Room Layer. And then back in my Layers palette, if I uncheck Visibility by AA Living Room, you can see everything's hidden except I forgot this one little um, side table, so I'm gonna select that, do the same thing. I'm gonna put it back in AA Living Room also. It should then go away. If you happen to be working with the latest SketchUp 2019, you might notice that your layers palette looks different than mine. And they've taken the visibility and the active modeling layer and unfortunately um, switched them to be on the opposite sides. So that was kind of confusing before. Now visibility you'll see is an eye, which you can turn on and off. Um, and the active layers toggles are now on this side. So just make sure that um, you're always working on layer zero. So this toggle should always stay on layer zero, or if you're in 2019, over here. And you're just checking and unchecking the visibility um, options. Otherwise your model's gonna get messed up. Okay, so I have um, created my first option and I'm gonna turn it off because I now I want to add a second possible option. Okay, now I have my second possible furniture um, layout. I've imported all these different items or rearranged some. So now I'm gonna create a layer for these items to go on. So I'm gonna go back to my layers palette. Again, I'm gonna hit the plus button to add another layer. And let's call this one BB living room. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna capitalize it so it matches the last one. I hate people watching me while I'm typing. Okay. So now I have the layer. Again, nothing's on the layer until I move the furniture items onto it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start collecting things, hold down shift, which will make let me allow to select more items. Make sure I get these pillows, get that chair. Right click again, make sure you're over something that you've selected, entity info, and I'm gonna put those on BB living room. 
if I go down here and uncheck visibility of BB living room, they're now gone. And I'm done with that. And the exact same thing again. I've got a third possible layout and another layer. Call it, oops, let's capitalize this one too. CC living room. And select these items. Oops, remember, hold down shift while I'm clicking on them. And then again, in Entity Info, I'm going to put those on CC Living Room. And I'm going to check the name, get rid of the baby C. And now you can see that I have AA, BB, and CC Living Room. I can turn one off, turn the second one on. Oops, somewhere I forgot some pillows. I think they go with CC Living Room. So again, if you forget to put something on a layer, no problem, just going to come back, select them again and move them to the same layer. So you might also notice in my layers palette that I have three different rugs and I've already put those on different layers. So I could try out each rug with a furniture combination. But what I've decided that I wanna do is make three just complete um, visuals to show my client. So one of the living room setups with one of the rugs, uh, second one of second rug, etc. And then I want to have scene tabs up here so I can just really quickly uh, click on the scene tabs uh, so I can look impressive when I'm with my client. So how do I go about doing that? So you want to make sure that again you are going to your scene tabs now and I do need to have my layers tab still open. So one of the things that scenes is going to remember is which layers are visible and which are not. And that's what we're going to totally take advantage of um, here when we're setting up these scene tabs. So again, in the first one, I'm going to have AA living room showing and I don't want CC living room showing. And I'm just going to say I've kind of thought about this better than I have now. Uh, and I'm just going to have the first rug showing with them. Uh, maybe the clients have already, we've already kind of put those together. So now that I have the layers tabs visible that I want in this view, it's really easy to just come in scenes and hit the little plus sign. I want to add a scene after it stops saving. And I'm going to, um, by default, it's, SketchUp is going to number these but I wanna change the name of it. If you don't see the option where you can change it here, if you see something like this instead, um, you see there's a little drop down. It says show details, and if you hit the little plus sign underneath, you're gonna get this information below. So I'm gonna rename this one A Living Room, and just hit the Enter. And now you'll see that you should have a tab up here that says AA Living Room. I'm going to go back and make BB Living Room visible. And I'm going to, again, turn off Rug J and turn on the next rug. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to hit the little plus sign because I want to add a new scene. And it's going to think about it for a moment. It's going to automatically call it Scene 4. I'm going to rename that one to BB Living Room. Hit enter. And then same thing, I'm gonna go back, turn off BB, turn on CC, turn on a visibility to new rug, add a scene, and make sure that you um, check the new scene before you change the name. And I'm gonna call that CC Living Room. And now you can see up here, if I click on my scene tabs, I have AA Living Room, BB Living Room, and CC Living Room. So I can quickly, efficiently move through these, show my clients, um, they'll be impressed, and we'll all move forward. Hope you found that useful. If you did, it always helps me if you like it on my channel on YouTube. Want more? Search for Diane Dietrich on YouTube. Interested in classes and online training? There's my website. Questions? Always glad to hear from you. Diane at S-E-E-D-D-D dot com. And happy sketchuping.